right, folks. Good morning. All right, so first things first, look, <laughs> player nudity is off. Uh, we got we got flashed last stream by my character. I think that's just the dream reskin doesn't support non-player nudity, but I don't care. We're gonna be wearing gear the whole time. Uh, that's just what it is. Um, secondly, Bottom of the screen, right under me. Uh, items left to collect, 376. Big number, where does it come from? All right, this is the spreadsheet I used a couple of years ago. So our goal for the Holy Grail run is thus. Uh, we want everything. Um, so, right, every, here, here are all the, the item materials, leather, all the way up to Daedric, um, leather and chain only come in armor, so we've got all of them right there, and then every other material has all the weapons in addition to the armor. We have to collect all of that. We have every Daedric artifact over here. Um, that totals 335. Then there are 20 different potion recipes and their, uh, corresponding potions. So that's another 40. That's 375. And 376, the very last thing is the, the totem that you get at the very end of the game. Um... It's like the end of the main quest. So that adds up to 376 items. There are also like different clothings and like ingredients and, you know, books and stuff. But like all of that is as simple as going shopping. Um, you just go shopping, buy all the books. You just go to Alchemist, buy all the ingredients. So I don't really count those, uh, but you can't buy the recipes for the potions. Uh, I think you can buy the potions, but we're going to, the only way we're going to finish the potions is if we don't find them all, we can make them if we find the recipe. So that's where we are. Now, that's, that's where I established the 376 number. That's the holy grail that I'm shooting for. Um, basically, all the gear and all the special magic unique items. Um, however, we're probably not, this stream probably not even starting the collection because we need a place to be able to put the collection and we don't have a house yet. So we are, as the stream title states, building a foundation. Uh, that foundation will entail, in. We, we sort of have a little, we have things to do. We have spells we have to make to, to build out our repertoire. Uh, we have, um, we do have some fundraising to do. Uh, we have some questing to up our reputation with, out of the gate, the Mages Guild. Uh, and we've got we've to sort of build our strength in, in various ways. So... Uh, that's what this stream is. We fought our way out of the beginner's dungeon at the inaugural stream. So now, without further ado, something is wrong here. I know what's wrong here. I have a controller plugged in. And apparently... <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
apparently my uh my i have a contact lens box over there okay so what time is it 12 23 all right so what we did do uh right before the end of last stream we bought the open door spell we need the open door spell because one of the particular uh, quests that will help us level uh, reputation up easily in the Mages Guild involves opening a chest for a random person in town at one of the pawn shops. Uh, so, we had to buy that. Now we need to make spells. Uh, so, we're gonna, we've got seven grand uh we we found a, a a magic item that was worth a lot of money we got extremely fortunate to find that on our way out of privateer's hold so let's put it to good use all right uh first thing we need to do the most important thing above all else is create a training spell for ourselves uh this is our training right here. We read the book on magic. Uh, it is Mage Light, Arcane. We're going to crank the, the the duration down. You're getting one, of a, one round of duration plus one every two levels. That downs the cost. Um, good. The, the, the minimum casting cost is always five. Uh, it can't get lower than that, uh, no matter what the effect shows you when you're doing it. So, uh, Mage Light Arcane. Let's add, let's heal some fatigue. One plus one per, per two levels. Uh, because, again, we're not worried about efficacy here. This spell is just to help us hone our skills. And, last but not least, open. A chance of one plus one per two levels. We Oh, yeah, that's as low as we can get the cost. So, the casting cost is six. Cool. Um, spell name. Welcome to Hogwarts! You know what's sad? I don't know if there's supposed to be an apostrophe in Hogwarts. I am not that big of a Harry Potter fan. It, it, there's no apostrophe, apparently. Which, uh... <laughs> we're, we're doing Harry Potter research. On a Daggerfall stream. Okay, so this is our training spell. Eventually, when we when we get the skills, so this remember my my big three uh, magic schools are illusion, restoration, mysticism. These three effects built into one spell that's seemingly useless otherwise trains all three of those skills. So I can just cast it and uh, skill up my magic. So that is our training. Um, let's see here. We definitely want a heal. We we need to um, Okay, that is not a huge heal. But it'll get us started. Um, yeah, we like that. That'll do. That'll do out of the gate. Uh, field medic is what we're calling that. Um, what's a cool? What's a cool icon? Do we get? Is there like a? There's not a red cross because the red cross will sue. An independent creator of a mod for a, a almost thirty-year-old game, which is what all beneficial organizations do. Total cunts. 
Uh, there you go. That's a, that. Uh, it's not very strong. We'll take it. Field medic. Good. Field medic. We we're healing ourselves. Uh, we do we do need that heal. Also, something that we could use right now. Except I don't have the magic to cast it. Uh, fatigue. We 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 can also heal our own fatigue. Um. Easy, baby. All right. Uh, okay. So far, so good. Um, very important spell is teleport. Not cheap to cast, but it cuts travel time uh, to and from a, a quest in half because you you set the anchor in town and then you get down to the bottom of a dungeon you're in this labyrinth you find what you need you complete the quest and you just teleport back to town instantaneously no travel time no nothing very important uh, piece of magic uh there and back again. A hobbit's tail. That's what we're naming our teleport spell. All right, very good, very good. Um, right. This is not a this is not a cheap to cast spell either, but. We need this because we are very weak to poison. And poison will kill you. Poison will end your shit. So we sort of need this in our back pocket. We will upgrade this down the line. Um... We'll, we'll keep it uh, aptly named, right? The antidote. Um, water breathe and water walk. We're going to build those into the same spell. Uh... We, we definitely like... <laughs> yeah, we can go with the old classic icons. Those are cool. Um, I don't know why I care about icons as much as I do, but, you know, it's nice to have... I think, I think this is the ticket right here. Uh, let's name this Poseidon. So, sometimes in dungeons... There are portions of the dungeon that are underwater, and you may need to cross through it to to get to where you need to complete the, the dungeon objective. Um, there are no guarantees in this game, so we have this spell for such an occasion. Um, another one that won't be as important, especially in Daggerfall Unity, where the climbing mechanic is more robust. Um, but just just a hint of levitation to get to an out of reach place if we desperately need it. Just a, just a touch of levitation. Um, with Poseidon, let's go with Icarus. That's a good, okay. We are already, we have built our repertoire quite, quite nicely here. What? Let's, uh, I'll tell you what. We'll, we'll do them. Some of these dungeons can get kind of dark. 
So we'll build ourselves uh, like an actual mage light spell. Um, we can dig it. All right. Uh, and for now, there are a couple other spells. For example, you remember, like this will this will happen down the line. Remember, um, my my luck is piss poor. My personality is piss poor. I will create a spell to fix that once my skills are really high, and I can afford to cast it. Uh, just to fix that problem. Additionally, um, we'll eventually will up the efficacy of the heal health and heal fatigue spells, and we'll build them into one. And um, that will 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 morph our five hour energy and our field medic into full rejuvenation. We'll do things like that. Uh, we'll build cure disease into our cure poison, just in case my immunity to disease doesn't work for some reason. Um, up the efficacy of that. We'll we'll build a core dump spell just to dump our magic pool so that we can uh, so that we can absorb spells in, in a because we're critically weak to all spell types. So if we can absorb the spells instead of take the brunt of the damage, that's cool. So we'll build a spell just to dump our magic pool eventually. We have one more we want to build right now. We're not gonna use it right away. Um because it's very expensive, but we do want a soul trap uh, down the line. Beep. We'll we'll add a little extra on here. Uh, beep. And what's a what's an appropriate icon? A, a kind of like this as a soul trap. Satan! We're gonna take your soul. Uh, I believe as far as spells go, uh, I think that's all we need for now. I'm just gonna double check my... my uh... Yeah, I think that'll do for now. That'll get us uh, to where we need to be. Just uh, just starting out, we can we can always up that. Uh, and we've got 5k left in our pocket for expenses. All right, let's, uh, let's quick save though. All right. So what we do want to do is open a chest right here in town. I do have the open spell. Uh, blah, 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 blah. A Lord Wickton. The best locksmiths in Chester work tried and failed. Uh, all right, so we got to ask for Elolda Wickton. We'll have to ask around. Put away our fist. Uh, excuse me, miss. Let's ask politely for our etiquette skill. We need to know what this is. She doesn't want to be my lackey. What do you say? We're, we're going to ask her like a handful of times. Um, because we're, we're doing this to... Wow. So, low etiquette skill. Again, commoners really don't like etiquette, so I'm fighting an uphill battle by changing the tone to polite out of the gate. And my personality is 12. So, not. <laughs> it's, that's two away from as low as you can possibly get. Uh, so, we are, we are fighting an uphill battle here. But, again, uh, we're. We're, we're grinding this. We're just doing a couple of these rolls just uh, just to up my etiquette skill. And 
We'll do three more, and that should probably enough be enough to level etiquette. Uh, two and three. Now let's see if we can just like ask her normally. She doesn't know. Okay, she she absolutely will not, because my 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 shit is so piss poor. Uh, pal, what do you say? Nope. Okay. How about now? Okay. How about now? Okay. All right. Well, here's the deal. Also, I'm gonna watch very carefully my camera. Last stream, the camera froze when I did a quick save. Um, I, uh, but, the, or used to be when I used the map. But I also, I think I figured out how to restart the webcam. If the webcam, webcam freezes again over some dumb bullshit in this game, uh, we'll fix it. So here's the deal. Uh, I happen to know that this open chest quest is always in a pawn shop. There are two pawn shops in town. Uh, I don't know which one it's going to spawn at. Unfortunate. Oh, oh, well, doesn't matter. I don't have the magic to cast the spell anyway. But at the very least, okay, it's at this pawn shop. That lady is the one with the chest. So here's what's going to happen. Uh... What are the hours? Uh, info mode. Info. Let's check. It is 1243. Yeah, I know it's... I was hoping to figure out when they close. Um, but you know what? I can bust my way in at night. So here's what has to happen. I have to go to an inn. I have to sleep to get my magic back. And then uh, I'm going to train my magic after that, but I'm going to leave myself enough magic to cast open, which is 135 currently. Um, steep, steep cost. Uh, south of the Mages Guild, I like staying at this end right here, that, that tavern. It's got this little boy that gets sassy, and um, I use him to train etiquette all the time. I'm like, yo, dog, what's up? And he's like, Go fuck yourself, and I'm like, kid, you, uh, you, the cut of your jib, you gonna get smacked across the mouth one day, but not by me. Um, all right, so save the game, uh, and we're going to rest until fully healed. Running, jumping, etiquette, whatever miscellaneous stuff happened. Jumping, running, mercantile street wise, illusion. Okay, we got plenty, plenty. Okay, so our magic. Um, shock, we don't give a shit about, so we're gonna, we're gonna drop that puppy down to the bottom. Uh, Hogwarts going to the top. Chameleon and slow falling, we're gonna, we're gonna take those down to the bottom. We'll, we'll hold on to them for now. Eventually, we'll just get them out of our butt because we don't really care. Um, I say we don't care about slow falling, but in my first stream, I almost died to fall damage. It's the closest I came to dying. So maybe I shouldn't badmouth it, huh? All right. So. Tri tri yep, those are, you know what? I like this. Okay, we're good. Hogwarts. Cast, 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 cast. Uh, we can afford two more casts of it. Three more will bring us to 135. Um, we'll, we won't cut it so close. All right, there we go. We can still open. Um, all right. So since we slept, we're we're gonna we're gonna do a. a We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do fifteen. That worked nicely in my last playthrough. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 
12, 13, 14, 15. That should train my etiquette. That should be enough to skill up my etiquette again. Um, it is night time. Let's head over to the pawn shop and complete this quest. If I have to, I'll break the door down. Uh, early on, we will we will refine our um, uh, our morals eventually. But this early on in the game, we are scrounging for every penny. We'll break down a fucking door if we have to. Fuck. All right. She's at her wit's end. Good news, I can open it. Oh, shit. So, <laughs> this might get very interesting. I don't know how this works with the add-on. So, typically, this spawns like one or two rats, one or two bats. Uh, did you remember to call the exterminator? But I have the horrible hordes add-on. So, is it going to spawn like 50 rats and bats on me? Let's find out. Okay. Uh. Okay. It doesn't spawn hordes. Like it, like it. Whoa, oh, maybe it does. Maybe I spoke too soon. I don't know. Uh, I did say it spawns a couple, which it. I didn't do shit! It wasn't me! <laughs> I mean, I did break the door down, didn't I? Um, we're gonna check something out. Okay, there's a rat. Okay. Alright, I've, I've quick saved. We're going to quick load. Okay, the, the guards are still pissed. undependable now um so it used to be you could quick load the game and it would like drop your your um it, it would drop your aggro with the guards all right we have completed the quest Guards are still pissed. Nearest exit to town is to the east. Um, okay. This this introduces a new gameplay challenge, which I'm cool with, by the way. Um, what this what this is doing is it's making it tougher for me to do things at night because there are actual repercussions to my actions. I can't just load the game to get rid of my s oh to get rid of my um my my crime table with the guards. I actually have to run for it. Silver Greaves is a, a straight upgrade. Okay, so also if you don't like steel tower shield that is extremely heavy but it is better than a round shield so we're not going to rob places blind um most of the game 
but early on we are we have funds to raise for very particular reasons um, I, I tangents just happened left right and center I'm so sorry uh, okay let's start there uh, so again we we have funds to raise very early on um, we'll explain why as soon as I have enough money to take care of the problem that I want to solve very quickly um, so we're going to snatch and grab everything uh, early on <laughs> just just early on um, also uh, so silver armor is analogous to steel see nine to armor rating nine to armor rating they're the same amount fun fact uh, I years ago before Daggerfall unity was even playable I did a playthrough of the DOS Daggerfall and after that I started a Holy Grail playthrough of DOS Daggerfall and the hardest gear in the game to find by far bar none was silver armor you can find silver weapons pretty easily but silver armor for some reason was so unbelievably rare to like like my my entire playthrough of the game, my extended mosey through the game, I found two pieces. Uh, unfortunately, the the rarity there there isn't uh, item commonality parity with DOS Daggerfall and Daggerfall Unity. You can find silver armor quite easily in Unity, which makes this Holy Grail run easier than it would be in DOS. However, in the DOS version, maybe in the Unity version, in the DOS version, you could cheese the game to kind of mill silver armor through usage of vampirism and uh, Knight Order reputation. Um, anyway, all that is to say I have silver armor now. So, like, it is easier to get silver armor in Unity, but it's easier to cheese silver armor uh, out of the game in DOS. Like, if if I were really motivated, it would probably come down to, like, the only things I need left in DOS Daggerfall would be silver armor. And then I would attain the items via using the Knight's Orders. I was about to say, oh, there's a bat too. Okay, the the guard. Yeah, fuck, fuck him up. No, 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 not me. All right, pal. Look, it was a misunderstanding. Let me in. Oh no. Okay. All right. That was legitimately like <laughs> Oh god. All right. Again, I promise you, we're not just going to loot places blind throughout the playthrough. We're just doing this very early on for one specific reason. And then it's back to normal gameplay. Elven Boots is an upgrade. Uh, another Steel Tower Shield shit. I was hoping it would be a lighter material. Steel is heavier than most other materials. Uh, the, the material of the shield actually doesn't matter. The shield, um, the type of shield, whether it's a buckler or a round shield or a kite shield or a tower shield, affects the armor value of the shield as well as what body parts it protects. Uh, tower shield is the best, but the material doesn't matter. Um, so ideally, you want something very light. All right. 
just throw all that shit in the wagon. Okay. Uh, do we loot everything? We looted everything. Uh-oh. They've seen me. Now I am undependable. I actually kind of don't like that. This is a this is a prison of my own design. But we are going to quick learn. Um we're going to be a little more careful about the situation we're in cuz it is a sticky situation. But I'm not I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to so frivolously play with my uh, reputation because as soon as the guards ask me to surrender if I say no uh, my reputation with the province goes down and we don't want that we have enough problems we're fighting an uphill battle with um, with the citizens as it is so we don't want them to be so pissed with us out of the gate. Leather tower shield. See, instead of 15 and a half kilograms, 6.25. Six and a quarter. So we're going to take that. Um, again, we're going to put on missing armor pieces there. Uh, and throw the rest in there. Letter of credit. Lol. Uh, right. Okay. So now we're going to be careful. We're going to quick save. We're going to quick load uh, to make sure we don't get snatched up by the guards. And when we're done with our little looting run, we're gonna we're gonna skip town. Uh, Uh, chain gauntlets are better than leather, but I can't wear chain. It's a forbidden armor type for me, so. <laughs> Screwed the pooch on that one, I'm sad to say. Uh. Yeah, we're not, we're not likely to find a really good stuff. This, this Dorvin pauldron, uh, was an obscenely lucky find this early in the game. Off that enemy, I think was one of the one of the humanoid enemies in that in that crypt that we like randomly wandered into. Okay, uh, and again, I promise we are not we're not going to be looting uh, shops like this for very long. We have funds to raise very early on. Oh shit, um, funds to raise very early on, and as soon as we make the money we need, we drop this habit. Like capitalism, you you <laughs> you commit crimes to get by, and then when you're rich, you don't have to anymore. Funny how that works. Um. Okay. Yeah. Put it all in the wagon. Loot it all and run. That's how we do things. I was never here. What I do have to do is juke a guard on the way out. Nothing like a little B and E. Hold, 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 hold! Ah! <laughs> no. Okay. I was never here, you assholes. Also, I do have to shout out this fucking ad, this one add-on. Um, this. Uh, Transparent windows. I love this. I love this. That is such a cool add-on. I had not used that before. Ooh, it's got some Dwarven this time. I really hope we can get away from the guards when we leave. I really don't like doing this. But what are you going to do, right? 
Uh, if you're gonna mend max, this is the path for for one specific part of the playthrough is to make this money very early. Can I get away? I ran like a bitch. All right. Some big money to be made in here, for sure. Okay, snatch that one. I snatch that one. Gimme, 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 gimme. Gimme, 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 gimme. Oh, shit. You know what? I'll see you guys later. Uh, yep. There are a lot. There are a lot. Okay, it's time to leave. Time to, time to skip town. I was never here. Did I turn in the quest at the Mages Guild? I didn't. Now I have. And now we're going to leave town. Uh, we're gonna let the let the guards let the guards cool off. Cool their jets. Um Oh dude, climb. Alright. Your boy was never here. He was never in town. Alright. Am I still in Chester Work City limits? No. However, there are enemies nearby. Oh, it's a spooter. And we are not immune to paralysis. Okay. All right. We have... Um, we've leveled up our skills. I don't remember which way we came from. I think this is the way we want to go. Hopefully, because we left the city limits, the guards are no longer pissed. That'd be cool. This, this song used to be so much better. I do have to say they're, they're, I am not a fan of this rendition of it. Okay, I left the city limits. Time for the moment of truth. We're good. I've never committed a crime in my life, not once. I am a clean and virtuous boy. Um, I do appreciate the effort they put into remastering every facet of the game, including the the um, the music. I don't want to badmouth it per se. I uh, I just this particular song I happen to really like the old rendition and the new rendition is kind of weirdly um, they they like put it in a minor key or something. It just doesn't sit well with me. Da 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 da
I didn't count, so we're gonna do five more, and that should be enough to level our etiquette. Three, four, and five. All right. Uh, do we still got how long? We six hours. We're gonna need another day. Uh, four pieces, dirt cheap. Let's train a little bit. Uh, let's let's quick save and let's sleep for six. We should get maybe running and jumping, but etiquette and then our three uh, our three magic schools should level up. Hey, look at that! Just like that, we leveled up. Uh, we're gonna put it into intellect. Yes, we are. We're putting it into intellect. That's more spell points. Um, medical, etiquette, jumping, running, restoration, illusion, mysticism, perfect. Uh, 1320. Yeah, all right. Um, uh, Hargoart still costs six. That's okay. Uh, opens down to 132. See, skilling up does make a difference. Um, we're gonna talk to the boy on the way out and we're gonna grab another quest. Uh, to open another chest. I know, bud. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Transparent windows is so freaking cool. We're gonna do one more for good luck here. I just, I love that so much. You can see out there what's going on. You can't even do that in Skyrim, by the way. It's like a separate instance whenever you go into a building. It just shows. I I will say this. Hey, you're smacking it in. any more than twice and you're just playing with it, pal. Um, it just goes to show you, like, I, I'm not really bad mouthing Skyrim. Skyrim actually is my second favorite Elder Scrolls. I know the popular thing is to have Morrowind be your favorite one, but it's my third favorite behind Daggerfall and then Skyrim. Uh, I did love Morrowind though, and Morrowind was the first Elder Scrolls I completed. Daggerfall is the first one I played, but I didn't. I never beat Daggerfall till like 2019. All right, we're we're gonna do a couple of individual transactions here just to make sure we uh, we level up our, our uh, mercantile also here, okay? We've, but now that we have more or less done that, let's... Sell it. Okay. All right. Uh, we're carrying around a lot of weight in cash. Uh, <laughs> now, the, the jeweler that we stole from, I'm pretty sure, uh, is like a tier five jeweler. So we're going to try and sell shit to, at the... Uh, across the street here. Um, gin store. Anything that he's willing to buy, I'm going to sell to him. He's not willing to buy any of it. Wait, do I have it on my person? I do. Hold on. What do you say? Okay, he's willing to buy this shit. Buy it all. Buy it all. Buy it all. Yeesh. Yeesh. Okay, we are nowhere near what we need money-wise for the thing I want to do. Uh, that, that money comes much easier later in the game. So maybe... 
maybe we'll put that aspiration on the back burner a little bit. Uh, it's going to be like, yeah, we saw you stealing shit. No, I was wrong. Now we have friends and Wayrest and Sentinel wanting to gossip with us. I believe they're both secondary quest related. Okay. Get a quest, open a chest. Yes. Um, Vanessa Buckingsley. Okay. All right, pal. How about now? We did this to ourselves. It's a different name, so we're going to chance it and see if it's the pawn shop to the south where this quest is happening. Uh, I don't know if the name is completely random and as is the pawn shop it chooses, but if it's a set name for each pawn shop, that would be really useful because then we can just remember that Vanessa is south and Alana or whatever her name was uh, yeah. is um, uh, to the east of the Mage's Guild. Stand by. Uh, steam things. All right. Is she here? She is not. So the name must be random because the name was different last time, but it was also that apparently they're both at the, uh, the Northeast pawn shop this time around. That's okay because we get running and jumping. We get to run and jump our way over there. Um, okay, come on. We're running and jumping, jumping and running, jumping, jumping and running. Uh, we have trained our etiquette. We're training our running and jumping. Uh, we're going to open this chest. We're going to go back to the Mage's Guild, turn it in, grab another open chest quest, and then train and sleep in the tavern. Alright, lady, what's up? Let's see what's in it this time. Exterminator again. Okay. Let's tee off on some rats and bats. Come get it. Brat! Kill some rats and bats. Get a little hand to hand training. Got him. All right. All right. Whoa! Okay, that's... Yeah! We go fight it. All right, that's two quests down. Um, two quests down. Uh, we need 14. Um, uh, 14 is the magic number we're shooting for. Uh, because... Two quests will get you a rank up in a guild, provided you have the the skill minimums to rank up. Um, like each rank requires like like each. Let's back up. Each guild has preferred skills. Um, for the mages guild, it's obviously the six schools of magic. There may be one or two others in there. Um, they need one skill, one of those six skills at a certain threshold and a second one at a certain lower threshold for you to be able to rank up to a given rank. Those numbers go up as the ranks do. In addition, you need to do two quests per rank up, provided you don't go a month without doing a quest for them, in which case your reputation atrophies, but we're not gonna let that happen. So 
I, ideally, I want like a very high restoration skill, a very high illusion or mysticism skill, and then 14 quests done. If I can do that, then a month from now, when it becomes promotion time, uh, I will be ranked all the way up to rank seven, which allows me to use the teleporter. You know that that um, that teleport spell I made for myself where I can set an anchor and teleport back after I complete a dungeon or a travel quest? I can use the teleporter in a mage's guild to teleport to a place. So if I can get to rank seven, travel time is a thing of the past. I get there instantly, I teleport back instantly. There and back again, a hobbit's tail, gone in 60 seconds. Um, so, that's the end goal. Right, I gotta turn in the quest. I'm gonna turn in the quest. Two, two down. Um, Barbina Masterwing. Yeah, it seems to is just totally a random name. So now what we're going to do is we're going to train. We did some running and jumping. We've done some mercantile. Uh, maybe some hand-to-hand -hand and critical strike. Sort of doubtful on that tip. Um, we're going to train our magic. I suspect we're still good. <laughs> yeah, why not? Um, I'll tell you what. It is before 15 o'clock. So... We're gonna we're gonna try and catch the banks before they close and have them write us a letter of credit for the gold we have on hand because right now our inventory is three quarters full of just like pocket change. Cash is just cash cash weighs in this game. You can't carry infinite gold. Um, but what you can do is turn your gold into letters of credit. Uh, and, um, and the letters of credit weigh a quarter kilo. Uh, banking, deposit all letters of credit, deposit 15289, or no, not 51, that'd be awesome though. Uh, okay, so now our account has 15 large, um, We will withdraw 100 in cash and our letter of credit for 14K. You have to pay 1% to write a letter of credit. So it's going to cost me 140 gold to write 14K. So I should have 1349 left on my bank account. Yeah, look at that. Head math for you. Um, so then I got cash. Some places... Oof, that's fine. Um, some places only take cash. I think taverns only take cash. But uh, a lot of places will take money directly out of your letter of credit, which is cool. So now I have a lot of my inventory space back. The The big offender right now I think is Iron Cuirass. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta do something about that puppy. Hopefully we can find us um, something like if we got Dorvin, that would be the dream. Uh... That would, that would shave off a lot of the uh, carry weight we got going on here. There's our tech. Oh my god. We completely whiffed. We were going to the white dog. Uh, let me tell you something about my sense of direction. Doesn't exist. All right, Easter. Bah. So we should get a hearty quantity of skill ups. Should be nice here. Um, Hogwarts. Mm. All right, we're gonna do a manual save. Two quests down. All right, we'll rest until fully healed, get all of our magic back. We got hand-to-hand -hand and critical strike in there! Yes! Uh, that's hot. All right, we're gonna do a little more training. 
That should be plenty. Uh, I still have a good chunk. Opens down to 130 now. Okay. It's late. We're going to have to bust in. We're going to have to cause some trouble again. We're going to have to wreak some havoc. Before we go, let's remember to train our etiquette. 15. So we got two, three, four, five. You ain't got time for this. So why don't you kiss off, fly later? Lost count, so we're doing eight more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cool. All right. Um, so now we got to figure out. That's kind of cool. I like that. The the lighting effect um, they would be a little more randomized I guess they are kind of randomized aren't they because that one's barely showing anything that one's shown a lot well there you go attention to detail cool uh, so that may doing shit all right here we are <laughs> yep, we busted it in the wrong pawn shop. We're taking a bunch of shit while we're here. Only early on are we resorting to this kind of chicanery. that to steal from this one now okay steal 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 all right this is horrendous this is filthy but we got to do what we got to do to get by early on you know what i mean it's a shame but as way it is got to steal to survive got to steal to thrive Got to come up with excuses why we're a bad person early on. Um, anyway, I was never here. Oh, shit! Ah! I've been caught. This is my fault. A prison of my own design. Okay. Again, we keep doing this thing where we're not being very careful. And it's nobody's fault but our own. But also, we got some important information. Uh, we know which pawn shop to go to now. Okay. As long as we don't accidentally cast a spell on the way over there, uh, we're good. Uno. Dos. Tres. Cuatro. Cinco. Cinco. Seis. Don't delay! And immediately a lost count, so we're going to do six more. Four. Five, six. See, you used to be able to get away with this shit. So, like, the, the crime engine has changed between the last incarnation of Daggerfall Unity that I played a few years ago, where um, breaking and entering, obviously uh, a crime, but if there's nobody outside, there's no witnesses, so there's a good chance you're getting away with it. Now, it seems if you do it, you're getting caught, or, or like somebody's gonna notice. Okay, nothing in it this time, it's just confetti. All right, all right, all right. 
Do it a bit. Take everything. Take all the stuff. All right. Put things in the wagon. Uh, all the stuff going in the wagon. Quick saving right here. Just make sure we can get out. I mean, at that point, I may as well look through it, huh? Uh, but now we're. <laughs> I love how, like, there are, like, hidden shelves in a lot of these stores where you can. You can find extra items for sale or for thieving in this case. Up for grabs, you know. That's private property. Okay, let's see if we can get out. Maybe because I didn't need to wail on the door 150 times, I didn't get caught. Um. Uh, that one broke open on the first swing. So maybe nobody witnessed it. All right. It's nighttime. The, the, uh, there's an add-on that's, that, uh, or like the dream reshade and reskin has like dynamic, uh, paper doll backgrounds, which is really cool. That wasn't in the game. That, that wasn't even in the last incarnation of Unity I played. So I, I love that, uh, I love that addition. Okay, I think I got away with the last B and E. Ha have, uh, have they restocked? They've restocked, great. Uh, Steel Helm, already wearing. All right. And immediately into the wagon. Uh, we really want to hit the jeweler more than anything else. I think the jeweler's got good shit. If you can get in and out, uh, high, high value shit. Okay. Maybe he hasn't restocked. Oh, okay. He just doesn't carry a bunch of shit. Uh, quick save. Quick save. We're quick saving. We've learned our lesson. Um, yeah. All right. All right, that's it. We got to scoot. We're like we're like reverse Santa Claus, man. Breaking down the chimneys and like stealing shit and leaving. We're we're grinching it. All right, quick save. All right. I was never here. I was never here. <laughs> uh. We are the worst kind of people. Again. I'm going to keep repeating this until the job is done. <gasps> oh, I love it. It's okay. It's the same weight, but it is more protection. Um, we're only doing this to raise the money for one particular venture. And then we're, we're done uh, with our, with our life of crime. 
Just, just an early venture, I promise you. Okay. Okay. Into the wagon you go. I may be scot-free this time around. Chain, chain. Uh, like, it might have been a thing where, like, I accidentally hit a door. Because, like, if you break down doors in buildings, you definitely alert the guards. But, like, maybe, maybe I accidentally swung and hit a door... Um, when I was fighting those those rodents last time, I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell exactly what pisses the game off sometimes, um, or if there's a roll every time. Nope, the guards are pissed. Okay. All right, we're leaving town. That, that worked last time. So what we're going to do is we're going to hop the fence. We're going to skedaddle. 5-0 ain't catching us. We're going to sleep it off out in the cold. Out in the bitter cold as punishment for the crimes we've committed upon the merchants of Chester Wark. I'm still common citizen. Let's climb this wall. We've got to go. <laughs> There's that spider I killed. <laughs> I guess, I guess the spider and the bear, I guess we know where we can stop and sleep for the night. We have marked a, we have marked a point that is definitely outside city limits. What a, what a ridiculous situation. Cha-ching. All right. Uh, it is early morning, so Hogwarts... It's down to 129 now. Uh, the open door spell. My cat is looking to go outside, but he's really stupid and he's not very good at it. I have an anti-bug net that, like, it's it's magnetic and it opens up. I'm gonna I'm gonna let him out real quick. Lily, you wanna go outside, buddy? You wanna go out? There you go, little man. You wanna do that? There you go, bud. So the the bug net over this door, right? This this bug net, it's it's like it's it's just like a, a like a netting sheet and magnets hold it closed and it opens to the sides and then the magnets snap closed. Uh, Claire knows that she can just bust through the middle. Leon will occasionally, eventually, like, try and sneak under it, and he gets under it, and I think he thinks he's just able to squeeze under it, when really all he's doing is, like, knocking the, 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 sh the magnets open. But then he gets really stupid, and, and, like, he'll just sit there and, like, eh, eh, like it's, like it's in the way. All right, sorry. Cats come first, right? All right, looks like the guards have forgiven me. Once again, good day, sir. We're good. We are, we've never committed a crime in our lives ever. Not once, never happened, never once. I, think, I believe that's the third quest we've done maybe maybe the fourth we're gonna say the third i have not been paying close enough attention 
So we're going to call it three. We know it's at least three. Um, we're going to break up the monotony soon. We're, we're going to do a dungeon crawl uh, eventually. Nobody's here because the, the guild opens at 11. Um, yep, now it's locked. Ordinarily, you used to, they must have changed it in Unity, but you used to be able to, like, bust it open. Um, and, like, the quest guy would be there so that you could turn in the quest. But they clearly took that away for some reason. Uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. That'll do it. We've still got the room for twenty-nine. But now we got lots. Uh, let's do a couple more Hogwarts casts, and this time we're only sleeping for six hours. Uh, because it normally takes eight hours to go from zero to full with your magic. Uh, we don't need it to go zero to full. And it takes six hours for skills to train. So sleep for six. Three, four, five, six. We got to level up. Booyah. More spell points to work with. Just like that. Um, we're moving up. Level six. All right. Now let's do some more training. All right, so we still got 135 uh, open. It's 127. That gives us enough to do the quest again. We train etiquette again. We're going to train our mercantile by, by selling all the shit back to the people we stole it from. Uh... Five-ish, six-ish, seven-ish. We're going to 15-ish. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15 with one more for good luck. All right, now we have some things to do. First, the budget armor smith right here is going to buy all this stuff that we stole from every metal smith in town. All right. Buy a couple of things. 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 How about some things? You want some things? We got things. You want some stuff? Here's some stuff. I got stuff for sale. We're just doing it in little chunks because the number of transactions is what skills up the mercantile. It is not the value of the item like in Skyrim. It is the number of transactions. Unless they changed it in Unity. So we just want to make sure we get enough transactions under our belt to train mercantile. We're probably already there, but better safe than sorry. Uh, and just going to flush out the rest of this. Get out of here, you. Okay. North to the Mage's Guild. Uh, turn in the quest. Grab the next quest. We'll, we'll call the next quest number four. It is. All right. We turned it in. Grab it again. Just like that. Uh, in and out to the general store to hopefully purchase most of the rest of the stuff we've stolen. Uh, general stores and pawn shops should take the rest. I don't think we have to resort to selling to the jeweler uh, who is very high quality and thus less likely to give us a good deal on our ill-gotten goods. All right, wagon. Hey, 
That's the stuff. That's the stuff. He's not going to buy the gems off of me. Um... Another 13k gave me a letter of credit for it because I wouldn't be able to ca carry it all. Uh, so, right, yeah, the gems, prayer beads, stuff like that. Guess that's gonna be a pawn shop deal. Uh, or the jeweler. Let's see that. Fuck it. We'll try it at a pawn shop. Um, hey, how about um, you know where this bitch at? How about if I ask you normally? That last one was maybe not pissed at me. Okay. It is really showing that I have exactly 12 personality points. Um, Let's let, let's get our streetwise leveled up too. Why not? Right? We're, we're gonna we're gonna see if this guy's gonna tell us. Uh, he's running late. He doesn't want to be our lackey. And okay, fine. Oh, he he answered me that time. He knows where Lord Peric's army is. He's just mar yeah he. But he doesn't know. Yeah, Streetwise pays off with the commoners. The, the commoners like me, but my personality is really low. So, like, if you talk to them in their language, I guess they don't mind. But he just, like, something about asking about the quest. So, I don't know. I don't quite know how it works. The, the conversation mechanic has always been kind of janky. Even in Unity. We're just going to have to hope... We went the right way out of the gate here, and we did. We flipped the coin and pulled up the correct one. All right, we're gonna get a couple of uh, I'm gonna tee off on a couple of um, animals. Get smoked. Uh, Let's see if the pawn shop will buy the gems. If it doesn't, I guess I do have to go to the jeweler to sell them. Uh, oh, they will buy the gems. Extra thousand in the pocket. It is still not 15 o'clock, so I can go drop this cash in the bank once again. Um, because, it, it, again... You can actually put, this wasn't true in Vanilla Daggerfall, but in Unity, you can put gold into your wagon, I think. Yeah, see, it goes in your wagon. Didn't used to be able to do that. Um, and gold weighs uh, one kilogram per 400 gold. So when you get a lot of gold, it weighs a lot. Um, so... When you start to when you start to make a lot of money, you kind of have to work in letters of credit. Even at a hundred strength, you're you're uh, you're on top of you're you're on top of things. Like as soon as you sell like a really expensive piece of gear, it's like yeah, got to turn this into a letter of credit. All right, to the bank. Uh, gold pieces in my inventory is not true. A lot of that is a letter of credit. Let's let's just leave most of that in the bank for now. Uh, we don't really need it. Okay. All right, we're gonna do we're gonna do one more round of um, one more round of like cr nighttime crime and questing, and then we're gonna do a dungeon crawl. However, the dungeon crawl will have to wait uh, until a session uh, later this afternoon. I have to step out 
briefly for a birthday lunch slash goody pickup. This is like the first time in weeks that I've eaten unhealthy. I got a, I got a, like a gluten-free bunt cake from a local bakery. Um, and I'm going to pick up, pick up this, uh, this, this from this Korean all gluten-free restaurant that's nearby. I'm going to get a, get a nice little noodle bowl from them with sweet potato noodles. Uh, I've been for, for weight loss reasons, I've been doing ketogenic diet, uh, along with exercise. Um, but today I'm not being ketogenic at all. Uh, on this, the day of my birth 40 years ago. Uh, right, we do need... <laughs> I, was like, I was like, what do we need to do? We need to, we need to rest to get our magic back. Alright. Fully healed. Yeah, we hit we hit all the touchstones uh, exactly like we needed. Hogwarts open doors down to 126. We're slowly chipping away at the cost of that as we scale up. All right, and we still have okay, one, two, three. All right, that should leave us enough to complete the quest. Okay, we're gonna we're we're gonna we don't care about streetwise. We'll, we'll get a little etiquette. And he doesn't like it at all because he's a commoner. He's like, why are you speaking to me with words I don't understand, you pig? And he is just absolutely not happy about it. So, ten more should do it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. That's gonna get us our etiquette. Um, <sighs> Let's try the northeast one. We've had a lot of luck with that one, you know. <laughs> Just like, please. Da, 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 da. Oh, it's a rat! Get dunked! Oh, these are the. Also, wait. I think Alt is the toggle for sneaking. Crouch is C, but that's not. Sneak. Toggle sneak. Sneak is left alt. Yeah, okay. Yeah, alt is sneak. So I should start doing that just to try and sneak up on, on backstabbers. For some reason, they're still open. So the lady's not here for the quest. But I just let myself in and I'm just taking everything. Still open for some reason. Don't know why. We're, we're not gonna ask questions. We're not gonna look the gift horse in the mouth. We're just going to take and go. Uh, yoinkers, oinkers, and biggity boinkers. Okay. Uh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. What was that? Hold on. Did we? Uh, did we find another? No, it was just parchment. I was like, did we find another recipe just now? We still have nineteen recipes left to find. Uh, again, the we're not officially collecting items. Pardon me. Until we have a house where we can put the items. 
Holy tome. 2,500 gold right there. Um, but we did, like, I do have a recipe in the wagon. Uh, so, we do have an item, even if we're not officially counting it yet. Wagon, 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 wagon. Okay. Um, top floor. <laughs> We're just taking it all, dude. Take everything. And um, uh, we have to go to the other pawn shop because this wasn't even the right pawn shop for the quest. Now, that wasn't uh, that wasn't a crime because the door was open and we weren't using the steel mechanic. Like, when the stores are open, you have to, like, steal and pass a check involving uh, stealth and or pickpocket. And against the weight of the item you're trying to steal, I can't remember the exact mechanics. But it's very tough. But if nobody's home... You just, you just mess them up, you know? You just go, whoops, uh, I'm going to take it, and nobody's here to stop me. This one's locked, so... I was never here. Uh, yep, yeah, there's the lady. We're gonna do the quest. Okay, you use the wand and it um, summons a skeleton somewhere. In the meantime, we're gonna keep looting shit. There should be a skeleton somewhere in the building now. There, we're gonna we're gonna have to kick his behind, and perhaps gain some hand-to-hand -hand prowess. There he is! Come get it! Got him! Messed him up too, dude. That was pretty good. Um, all right. Uh, oh, we didn't loot this one yet. Yoink! Yoink! And there's some dwarven on that shelf too. Okay. All right. Um, ooh, that's going to make some money. All right. Finish cleaning this place out and hit the road. Top floor, top floor. Oh yeah, we gotta we gotta wagon some of this. All right, all right. We're we're fundraising for our early venture, and then and then we'll be done stealing everything from everywhere, no matter what. Crime only pays early in the game. Okay. Uh, let's hit the jeweler, the armor smiths and weapon smiths, and then skip town for the night. That is our that is our course of action. Bust them down. Okay, that's an upgrade. That's an upgrade, folks. That's an upgrade. Leather, 1.25 kilograms. Dwarven's only two. Um, but the the armor rating on this was three. The armor rating on that is 13. Bam. We're all about that. Whew. Elven gauntlets. Put them on. 
Alright, cool. We're doing good. Uh, however, we don't want to get pinched by the guards because we just got some upgrades. So we're going to run, 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 run. They, uh, they definitely saw us. So the ticket here is head straight for the jeweler. Quick save right here. In we go. This is a fucking supermarket sweep, dude. Just, oh, oh, oh. We're like, <laughs> fucking grabbing for our lives here. Uh, we might keep that diamond. Diamonds are a pain in the ass to get, but they have the most enchantment budget per gem of any gem type in the game. And we definitely just found one. So if we can get out of here, with our inventory intact, we may opt to not sell the diamond. Everything else can go. Diamond is worth the most, but eh, that's tough luck. We we need diamonds. Two of them. Go, 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 go. Save game, quick save. In and out. Put it in the wagon. Go, 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 go. Supermarket sweep. Yep. And just like that, our crime spree is at an end for the night. Did I already hit this one? I lied. I still gotta hit this one. All right. Uh, iron boots. They're they're cooler looking, so we're putting them on. Fuck it. Uh, <laughs> they're cooler iron boots, so I'm wearing them. Um, and leather helm. We can't put on the chain, so we're still wearing a piece of leather. Unfortunately for us. Okay. All right. Let's let's run for it. Let's get out of town. The guards are angry at us. Uh, but I'm just a I'm just a cute little birthday boy. I don't know why they're so mad at me. Yeah, 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 yeah. The open spell. So like, um, that don't work in unity and unless they changed it you need to like you need to have like an open spell pass the check which isn't really the biggest deal in the world but um but now but like earlier uh and even in an earlier version of unity that when i was playing a couple of years ago you could just bust in and because it's nighttime nobody was there to witness you breaking in but now the guards are pissed um so you have to skip town and you can see off in the very distance there's a dead bear and a dead spider uh that's where i've been sleeping <laughs> at night when i cause trouble i run out here and spend the night uh so that's that's the deal all right let's park it right here and then once we sort out our issues up oh, we're getting shot at Oof. hey there's some good cash we're gonna we're gonna take Dorvin. Uh, things to oh god i've stole so much shit that the wagon's full back in vanilla dagger fall it didn't actually keep track all right all our shit oh shit you a bitch i guess werebores are gray in unity okay what time is it it is 7 20 in the morning uh let's top it off let's just top it off okay back to town 
Uh, that will be at least four quests done. Probably like five. But we're calling it four uh, so that we don't so that we don't accidentally miss the mark when the when the time for promotion comes. Four out of fourteen. Uh, it is okay. Twenty twenty minutes. So I got to be done. So what I'll do is uh, we'll do town things. Uh, we'll do training. We'll do one more open chest quest, um, and then. Uh, we will initiate a dungeon crawl. Uh, if not finish, you know, we're not going to be able to finish the dungeon crawl unless we get obscenely lucky. But at the very least, we can break up the monotony of doing open chest questing. Um, right. So here's what happens. Look, we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna sell all the things, work on our mercantile. Uh, da, 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 sell that. We gotta up the transaction count a little bit, so we're just gonna sell it a chunk at a time. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go, bud. There you go, bud. A lot of this isn't worth shit because it's mostly leather, but until we collect the 200,000 we need early on, we will continue our life of crime. Just until we get that initial 200 large. And then we will lead clean and virtuous lives from there on out. But early on, we're scraping to get by. We need that money. We need that docket. So we will be hideous thieves for a bit longer yet. Okay. That is everything he can buy from me. Um, general store next, then pawn shop. Yeah, dollar store open. I, I don't even think the dollar sign trick with spells works in Unity. They even patched it out in like the unofficial Daggerfall patch. Like when you get like the DOS box package version, I don't think the dollar sign works there either. Or like the exclamation point one. Yeah, it was like it was like one quarter cost. Uh, if you did the dollar sign or the exclamation point, I can't remember which. Um, but like that stopped, they patched it out because God knows why. And then in Unity, they just never put it in. Uh, okay. All right. Mm, sell the books. Sell it all. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That's that money. Give me them dollars. And that was worth a good amount, that magic item. 29k. Ugh. Uh, if only I, uh, if only I were better at mercantile, which is what we're working on, after all. The last thing I gotta sell is the gems at a pawn shop. This is giving us an opportunity to get our running and jumping up. Actually, you know what? We're not gonna do that right now. Uh, we're gonna... We're just going to hold on to that. It is not 11 o'clock, which means the Mage's Guild is not open, which means we're going to practice our etiquette on the little boy and train our spells and sleep for six hours. All right. 15 taps to victory. Oh, shit. For a second there, he did give an answer. He he hates it. But one, oh, look at that. It's south. Go south. It's finally starting to work. Our etiquette is starting to level up. The The real problem here is is 12 personality. 
It, like, I have, like, really good, like, background reputation with commoners. But my personality is so low that they hate me anyway. And also, I'm speaking etiquette with commoners. And they would much prefer streetwise. All right, that should be more than enough. Let's cast some Hogwarts. We're going to name it four quests down because it's at least that many. Uh, we're going to sleep for six hours. We're going to level up, get more spell points. Strength will be the next one we level up. That's Strength will be good for our combat efficacy because we'll get one more damage per 10 strength. But we just wanted our spell points as quickly as possible. <sighs> we did level hand-to-hand -hand and critical strike last time. That's cool. We like that. Um, all right. We'll Hogwarts it again. Okay, opens down to 123 now, which is nice. Started at like 135 per cast. We only need 123 to do the quest. Uh, grind out the etiquette again and then we'll be on our way and we'll actually uh, we'll do a quest and then we'll collect a dungeon crawl we'll do a dungeon crawl quest uh, let's do 10 more and that should be enough to get etiquette up one two three four five six seven eight nine all right, that should be etiquette. Uh, let's turn in the quest, grab another one. We'll do one more open chest and then grab a dungeon crawl from there. Open. The question is, which direction? Will you tell me? You won't. How about now? Oh god, they don't want to tell me. I just I just want somebody to give me an answer to my question. Okay. We're just gonna guess. We'll we'll try the northeastern pawn shop first. If that doesn't work, we'll just go down south. Okay. Did we get lucky? Yes, we did! There she is. Open the chest. An imp. Imp is really great uh, if they patched it so it can cast spells again. In Unity, in the earlier version of Unity, this imp did not cast spells, whereas natural ones did. Um, while we're here... Keep the diamond, but sell the other ones. Thank you. Will you cast a spell? Will you look at me? Yes, he will. He casted spells. Hell yeah. Uh, we'll grab that one. That one's kind of worth it. Uh, put it in the wagon. And also put 15,000... 533 gold in the wagon and we got magic points back because we were able to absorb his spell awesome okay uh southeast nope southwest no wait southwest that's the southwest go back turn this in grab a dungeon crawl uh that's the next step that'll be quest number six and we'll We'll get started on the dungeon crawl. Right. Quick save. Get a quest. Well, I apologize for the background. Uh... Okay, let's retrieve an ingredient. 
We're gonna collect some trolls blood. At the Cabal of Eloria. Got 16 days. Uh, let's uh, do our inaugural cast of a hobbit's tail. Drop an anchor, anchor right here so that we can get back quickly. Uh, and as far as I know, we don't have any other town business to be about. The Cabal of Aloria. By the way, uh, Kev, the the <laughs> when I was doing uh, when I was doing Unity a couple years ago, it would freeze when I used the dungeon map or like a town map. Last yesterday, when it froze, it froze when I did a quick save out of nowhere. I don't know why. All right. We'll, uh, we'll stay in the ends. Uh, I don't have enough gold! Fuck! I do have enough gold. It's just in my wagon. <sighs> let's... Let's put... 15,500 in there. Keep 33. And... The Cabal of Aloria. All right. Jumping is stealth. We didn't get running skill. It didn't look like. But that's okay. That's all right. Quest number six. Um... We're not gonna do spell training because we might need it in order to heal. Uh, as you can see, it's kind of dark. Uh, yeah, it does seem like, it does seem pseudo random, but I did tool around with uh, Streamlabs and I think I figured out how to restart the camera when it fails. Wow, we're just gonna fight naked women right out of the gate, are we? Is that what's going on here? Okay, Danger Heart, Griffin Feather. Uh, we're gonna pull a lever. Don't really know. I still have wagon access just in the dungeon. Maybe it's because I'm near enough the exit. Ordinarily, you have to come back to the entrance. So this Iron Atronach killed a humanoid of some kind. Nymph hair is worth it. Uh, nothing else here is really worth picking up. Too far away, exit. Right, okay, that, that answers that question. Holy Relic, worth grabbing. Cash, we'll grab that um, ingredient. All right, wagon, drop. That stuff. Uh, and also gold. 1026. This is a bummer because Atronaches don't have loot usually. <sighs> Goodness gracious. Good for the good for the hand-to-hand -hand training for sure, but not good for the getting gear upgrades and or loot. Apparently the nudie ladies have uh, cash. We'll take the cash. The occasional ingredient we'll take. If things get tight, we'll start shedding the ingredients too, but... Fuck! That actually... That motherfucker hit like a truck. Hold on. Uh, field medic. Hold on there. Alright. Dude! Fire atronaches are kind of nasty. Okay.
All right. Save the game. Stealth dodging, running, illusion mysticism. We didn't get restoration, but that's okay. All right, now we can afford to do some proper training here. All right. That'll probably get us our skills. Um... Up these stairs, let's see. All right, humanoids. We love humanoids. Uh, no loot we could use. We'll take the battle axe. We'll take the pearl. Pearl will sell for some cash. Did I hear a harpy? I think I heard a harpy. That's a harpy. And we're climbing. Well, may as well level up our climbing while we're on a wall. May as well peek around at the dungeon layout. Okay. <laughs> Good stuff. Okay. Oh, we've been up here. We're already going to have to consult the map. Nope. Oh. Bonked him. Uh, steel is not as good as the elven we have, but it will sell. Recipe, one of the collection items we need for a potion of levitation. Leviosa. Oh, there's the harpy. Lich dust, absolutely worth picking up. The weight to value ratio is insane. Once we have access to an alchemist, um... Yeah, that's no problem. Not not taking offense. Uh, once we have access to an alchemy shop, Lich Dust is absolutely worth holding on to. Uh, wah, wah, wah. Here we go. Oh, shit! Alright, let's look at the dungeon map. We're going to see if my camera plays nice. Um... All right, yeah. All right, we got it. We got. We just gotta go back the way we came. We did not nearly finish exploring this direction. Okay. There's a nymph. I'm gonna activate stealth. Didn't work. <laughs> All right, it's beating time. Uh, I will take the book. Books are worth a fair amount of cash. That was Alvin. Actually, katanas are one of the weapon types that are worth a fair amount weight to value wise. Um, the 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 big four, as far as weapons are concerned, are die katanas and katanas. And short and long bows. Those are the big four. Uh, it's still like... Oh, there you go. That, uh, steel left pauldron. That's an upgrade. Still not great. Um, because it's steel. But we'll take it. You know. Bonk it down. Oh, I thought that was like a dwarven... <laughs> okay. I thought that was uh, I thought that was a Dorvin chest piece. It's just clothing. Oh no, um, I feel somewhat bad. I have been poisoned. Save the game. Antidote. Spell effect failed. Spell effect failed. So I'm still poisoned. So, yeah. So we got to do a little triage here. Okay. So it does work. Doesn't look like whatever poison it was affected my stats. 
That's my alarm. So uh, that's that's this is where I'm gonna end the stream after I cure myself. Spell effect. Fail. We got to save scum. We've got to save scum the antidote because it's just it's way costly. What the fuck is that? Hold on a second. Oh, so it's like it was draining my magic. Now what is it going to do? Now it's draining my fatigue. I think it kills you eventually. I'm just curious. We're just going to see what happens. Did it wear off? No, I'm still poisoned. Um, it's definitely like a drain magic type thing. Spell effect failed. Now, hold on. My antidote cure is a chance of one plus five per one level. So it should be a 35% chance. Oh, it's fucking my willpower up too. Okay. Um, so when I cure it, do I get that back? Okay. I cured it. And my willpower comes back. So it's a willpower thing. But like, it should be like a 35% chance. It feels like it's a lot lower chance than that. Ugh. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is with that. That's kind of nasty, to be honest with you. Uh, I don't know why my antidote spell isn't working. Very well. Um, This is unfortunate. You know what I'm gonna do? Here's here's what I'm gonna do. Um, uh, because it's time for me to scoot for now, uh, what I'll do is um, next, next stream, I'll open up the session by solving the problem I'll, I'll save scum the cure until i'm cured and then when i'm cured uh i'll start the stream that way we don't have to watch this situation uh but for now i'm done uh i'm gonna go grab my grab my lunch my birthday lunch uh, uh and take care of some of the work i need to take care of and then i'll be back uh Maybe later, probably tomorrow. We'll see. All right, I'll I'll uh, talk to y'all later.